Grieving CrossFitter Tia Claire Toomey wins Commonwealth Games weightlifting gold. For nearly two weeks Tia Claire Toomey put her grief on hold. Desperately focusing on weightlifting in the hope she might win gold in memory of a cousin so suddenly lost. The tears finally came on Friday night when the world's fittest women proved she is also the strongest in the Commonwealth. In an extraordinary performance featuring two personal bests, Toomey, the reigning CrossFit Games champion, won the woman's 58 kilograms title at her maiden games. The 24-year-old held her nerve in a heart-stopping duel to pip Canadian favourite Ailey Darcini by one kilogram on the Gold Coast. She was confident and smiling as she lifted a PB snatch of 87 kilograms and then a dramatic clean and jerk PB of 114 kilograms to clinch a winning total of 201 kilograms. It was afterwards, when she finally allowed herself to reunite with family, that the bittersweet nature of her remarkable triumph began to sink in. Toomey's cousin Jay Dixon died suddenly in a car accident at the beginning of last week. She was there lifting that barbell with me. That was dedicated to her, and emotional to me said. The 17 year old had been planning to watch Toomey compete, but was a passenger in a car that crashed into a tree on the Sunshine Coast. It was a lot of shock because it was quite a sudden accident and something no one in our family expected, Toomey said. I haven't actually had a chance to really grieve or process it because I had a job to do when I came here. Now, I guess when I see my family, and she's not there, it's pretty sad. She'll always be in my heart. Toomey went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Darcini throughout and sat one kilogram adrift following the snatch section. But the Canadian's best of 112 kilograms on her final lift was only good enough for a combined 200 kilograms. Toomey upped the ante on her rival with each lift, comfortably conquering 107 kilograms. Then 111 kilograms, before completing the required 114 kilograms. She said it was impossible to compare Commonwealth gold with her CrossFit crown. There is really no comparison because they were so different, she said. Winning the CrossFit Games was unbelievable, but winning it here in front of my home crowd on the platform was just spectacular. The result is a huge improvement on Toomey's 14th place finish at the Rio Olympics, only her third international weightlifting competition after the childhood track talent added the sport to her CrossFit repertoire. And while it showed her she has the potential to do something special at Tokyo 2020, the focus for now is defending her CrossFit crown. Of course I'd really love to be able to train hard and perform like that, if not better, at the Olympics. But my next focus is trying to, in June, go to the CrossFit Games again. 
Toomey finished 12th in the just completed Worldwide CrossFit Open. Three places behind Kiwi Jamie Green, and third in the Australasian region to qualify for the Pacific qualifying competition in Sydney from June 1st to 3rd. The CrossFit Games will again be held in Madison, Wisconsin, from August 1st to 5th.